One of the final tools we have in tunnel design is the edit setouts command. This can be accessed through the tunnel tab in the setouts group. Tunnel setouts allow users to specify as stake points in the field where drill or blast holes might be applied. If you've used Trimble Access Tunnels, these setouts are a direct carryover from that. Selecting the command opens up the, the setout editor. Like most commands in TBC Tunnels, if there are multiple tunnels in the project, they can be chosen here. In this case, we only have the one. We can see in the type here that we have four types of setouts. Radial setouts are created along a slope line defined by an X and Y offset and the intersection of a specified shape. They can also originate from the center of the alignment or be offset. Horizontal and vertical setouts can be created along a user-specified horizontal or vertical line, again intersecting a user-specified shape. A user also has to specify a left or right or up and down direction depending whether it's horizontal or vertical. Blast holes are simply defined by X and Y offset values from the center alignment. Note that if any horizontal or vertical alignment offsets are applied, these offset values in the setout editor are relative to the center of this offset alignment. Let's create some examples. We'll start with a radial setout. And we can see the first options we have here are the start station and end station. These are optional. If you choose to leave the start or end station blank, then the setout will apply to the very beginning of the tunnel or all the way to the end of the tunnel, respectively. If you leave them both blank, then the setout will apply to the entirety of the tunnel. Here we have the horizontal and the vertical offset to specify. For this setout, we'll select one for both, and this will create kind of a 45 degree line from the center of our alignment to the intersection of the shape. We can change the center of this if we don't want to use the alignment, but we'll leave that at zero for now. And finally, we have the shape name to select. Uh, we'll choose shape one. Go ahead and create that. We can open up our tunnel view and we can see our newly created setout right there. It's kind of at a 45 degree from the center of the alignment. If we collapse our shape geometry, we'll see we have a setouts table here where we can see the coordinates of the setout as it applies to that station. If we move the slider, we can see that our coordinates update. Going back into the setout editor, we'll create a horizontal setout. Again, same thing applies with the start and end station. For here, for example, we can start with station 10, and we can go to station 20. So our setout will only exist between those two stations. It's going to ask for a vertical offset. Let's go 2 meters and a direction of left. And again, we'll apply it to shape 1. So we'll see how that creates in our tunnel view. We'll go to station 10, and you can see the setup is created 2 meters above our 2 meter alignment offset, so it's at 4 meters. You can also see that as soon as we get to station 20, past station 20, that setup disappears. It only exists between 10 and 20. Vertical setouts work essentially the same way as horizontal setouts, except you specify a horizontal offset from the center of the alignment, as well as a direction up or down from the alignment. We will create a blast hole. Same thing with the start station. We'll leave that blank, but we'll have an end station of five. We can create a horizontal offset. Let's go negative 1.5 and 2.5. For our blast hole, we don't specify a shape. And we can see if we go to station zero, there our blast hole exists. Again, we have coordinates for it. And we can see that it disappears once we get past station five. Exporting this design as a TXL will include these setouts that can be seen in Trimble Access Tunnels as seen here. You can then survey to and lay out these locations for construction.